Hello and welcome. Wouldn't it be great to make uh, cyanotypes in the winter months? Van Dyke brands, cell paper prints, all those alternative processes that we love so much that we leave for the summer. Well, now we can with this LED UV box. So let's get started. It's half six in the morning. It's completely dark outside and I'm going to make a sun print or a cyanotype. Here is the box. It's, a, it's a 60 centimeters by 40. Uh, this here is my paper that's already prepared with the cyanotype chemicals. That goes in here. This is a negative, another one from Graz, and that's been printed out uh, just on an inkjet. You can do it on laser as well. So I'm gonna put that on top of that. Very simple, lay it on. Uh, and then you're gonna need a piece of glass, a piece of heavy glass to keep it, keep it all in place. So this box will actually handle something like this, which is an A3 size. And you can get you can get the the transparencies uh, for laser or for inkjet that will print out an A3. So let me just put an A3 into this box just to give you an idea. So you can see it can well well and truly handle A3. So there's plenty of space. So if you want to go bigger, if you want to go for square prints or whatever. So that's that's the beauty of this box. So I'm going to plug this in. And then we're going to expose. We're going to expose this uh, negative and the cyanotype prepare paper for five minutes. So now being five minutes, I'm going to wash my print here. So I have the tap running. Uh, all I recommend is to put the print face down. You don't want you don't want the tap you know directly on your print. Leave that in there for about a good 10 minutes. Give it a good shake. What you're looking for here is to get rid of all the yellow off the print. So you get, you know, you get your whites and your blues. So let's just turn off the tap here. Just to turn it around, see what we're looking at. Yeah, you see, it's still a little bit, it's a little bit yellow, but we can just give it a good shake. Yeah, it's looking okay. It'll dark. Yeah, you can see already. So I'm just going to take that out. Okay. Take the water out and then I'm going to do the water then I'm going to do another wash. I would recommend doing two washes. Usually that's enough and then hang it out to dry. So I'm going to hang that up here. Just going to clip it into this guy here. So here is the UV LED board. Uh, this is the lid of the container of the box. So let me go through how this is put together. So what I have here is a length of 50 centimeters strips and they're basically separated by one centimeter or the, or the width of one strip itself. So what we have is actually, if we count them, I think there's 18 in total, yes. There's nine for one side so each side has nine actually. And what I've done is I've actually marked, you can see there's a little mark there to know which ones I solder. And I've done the same on the other side, you can see over here. So I've got blue on that side and I've got yellow on that side. And I solder each of those strips individually and then, then they're brought into the middle, into this little connector here. And that connector is actually hot, uh, hot glued down as long as, as well as the cables as well. Okay, the reason that we do these separately and every second one uh, is that we can decide if we want full power or half power. And the reason that each of them are separated is that we have a better current distribution. Um, and then it goes back to the connector here and then around to the white cable all the way around all hot glued in and then they both of them come out here to the power, uh, power supply connectors which are 12 volts and the same is done on the other side here you can see there's a little connector there so so that's the, basically the 
the, the lid of the, the UV LED board. It's quite powerful. I think it's about 25 watts and half power and 50 watts in total because each of those connectors uh, require 2 amps, uh, 12 volts, 2 amps. So you could run them off a battery, okay, I guess. Um, but for this, we're running them off mains power. And as I said, we can decide if we want full power or half power. So the test um, cyanotype I've done with it, uh, which I'll show, that, that needed five minutes. Uh, that's what the best exposure, but I did test it for one minute, two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes. It will depend on the paper and the chemicals. So the cool thing with this is you can use it for other processes as well. You could use it for Van Dyke Brown as well. And anything that requires kind of sunlight. So primarily this is for cyanotype. So once I got the LED UV box working, I decided to do a test print for five minutes. And the first image I made on it was this image from Graz and the Hopplatz when they had this uh, book day where people just sit around in bean bags and read books. Uh, I'm really happy with the detail and tonality that came out. Uh, I was really impressed. So if you want to build one of these boxes, they're relatively inexpensive. I think the box itself cost me, I think about seven euros. The LED lights, two sets of LED lights were 25 euros each. Some cabling, some hot glue, so all in all, you can make this for certainly under 70 euros. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video and this kind of introduction to making cyanotypes at home in the winter months, because um, I really kind of miss making cyanotypes. Uh, I can only make them in the summer when there's really good sunlight and I can control the contrast, where in winter, you never know. But with this box, I'm able to do it all year round. So if you really like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you don't like this video, you can also give me a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell button on the side as well. Thank you for watching and see you next time.